I have gotten quite a few questions after I've been releasing the latest updates of the new EU drone rules that are putting into full effect from 1st of January 2024. And one of the most frequently popped questions are how do you actually activate or input your operator ID into the remote to be able to activate the remote ID. Remote ID is, if you look at the EASA website, starting from January 1st, 2024, all drones operating in the open category, with limited exceptions, would need to be equipped with remote identification systems. And lucky for us, most of the DJI drones are already equipped with this feature. For some peculiar reason, <laughs> I can't find the setting in the Mini 4 Pro. So in this example, I will show you how you actually put your input your operator ID, including this little extra code that is required into a C1 drone, in this case, the Air 3. And because I couldn't find the setting on the Mini 4 Pro, I actually thought this was an exception. Maybe, maybe the drones under 250 grams are not required to broadcast remote ID. But if you take the writing on the wall here from the EASA website, it actually does not mention this exception. Maybe you know more about this and where I can read up on this matter, then let me know in the comments below. Let's fire up uh, the Air 3 and I will show you how this is done. For a long time it has been a requirement in Europe when you fly a drone, if it's equipped with a camera, that you register yourself as an operator. And in that relation you will get an operator's ID. You can register in any of uh, the member states and you will get the documentation uh, depending on a little bit on how it's implemented in each country. So the way that it works here in Denmark is that you go to the official uh, authorities, Trafikstyrelsen, and then you apply for your operator ID. It's a quite uh, seamless and smooth process. After a little bit of waiting, you will get something like this, like a letter in your electronic inbox. It might be different in the country where you live. You might have to wait for the mailman to deliver a letter for you with this information. Attached to this electronic mail, there's another uh, appendix that actually contains the drone operator idea as well as the security code. Those are the ones that you need to put into the remote. Let's just try and do that. Because this needs to be verified online, you need to make sure that your remote is actually connected to Wi-Fi. So let's just make sure that this is the case. So it's already connected, so that's fine. Then next, you go under the three dots here in the upper right corner, and then under the safety tab, you scroll down. There should be something called UAV, UAS Remote Identification. And if you click that one, you get into a page like this. And you can see there's already something, yeah, kind of, yeah, a lot of X's that are put in here. So you simply just press those. And then we should gain access to a keyboard. <laughs> And you can see there's basically two sections here. There's one with a lot of X's and then there's a small dash and then there's three X's. So the first one is your operator ID. The last one is your security code. So let me just try and type in this. And you need to make sure that uh, you honor all the caps if that is the case. Otherwise, it will not be accepted. So let's just type it in here. Then we put in the dash and then we add our security code. We honor the captions here. So, entered successfully. So now I've entered my remote ID, operator ID, as well as my security code, and uh, the drone is basically set up now to sort of broadcast the remote ID of uh, my remote, which is the requirement from January 1st, 2024. And again, if you know anything about the C0 drone, why this option is not available inside the interface. I really, really hope that this is a sort of a, something that DJI has uh, forgotten to update and the system is already in place into the drone because otherwise you would have to buy some sort of electronic gadget and strap it onto the drone to be able to broadcast uh, this remote idea to <laughs> keep yourself within uh, the legislation. Because the security code is personal to you, 
Uh, you might want to hide that from anybody because otherwise they will be able to fly with your ID. So if you hand over the remote to someone else that needs to check uh, so your remote and wants to steal your security code, they can't really do that because if you go down here and jump into where we entered the code, you, you can see it's not the security code is not shown. <laughs> so, so I hope this guide was helpful. And if you have any additional questions that you want me to dig into, then make sure to throw them in the comments below. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.